Good morning, all the parents and families. This is Jeff Gardner. It is uh, Friday, June 4th. Uh, we're on the home stretch, just about ready to finish up our school year. I can't believe we're already here. I wanted to give uh, those families who are sending their students to school two days a week, a little bit of an update how it's going here at Auburn High. And also maybe it's a little bit of a preview for next year for those who've decided to keep their students online learning for the rest of this year. I'm very proud of the job that our in-person students have done, you know, coming to school two days a week and uh, very proud of the work our staff has done. Um, you know, we're here four days a week, most of us, and then there's a few of us sit here all five days of the week. Um, we've really adhered to our to our guidance. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say we've been perfect. Sometimes we need to remind not just our students, but sometimes we've got to remind ourselves um, about you know the six foot distancing. That's probably been the most challenging. The masks have been great. Uh, people have been wearing their masks. I think I've had to remind maybe two or three people since April 20th that uh, you know I just point at the face and they they remember. Um, and uh, it's not a thing that's easy for a lot of people to do. So I do appreciate the effort, um, especially from our kids, because they're, you know, they're navigating the stairs and, you know, take it from someone who walks the building a lot. You know, we're three stories. And before the pandemic, I had no problem going up and down the stairs several times a day. Some of our kids do it six or seven times a day. Um, but with that mask on, <laughs> there's a little more heavy breathing when you get to the top. So yeah uh, give your kids a pat on the back they've done a really nice job um, as you know we did open up some outdoor areas and then when we're at lunchtime uh, the kids can unmask because they're eating of course and and you know the students that have stayed in the commons eat their lunch most of the days we've kept the six foot by six foot distancing um, the kids have been stellar they've been great and for the kids that are outside same thing um, we have the bigger kind of the picnic round picnic table Benches. I wish the benches were a little bit longer, but they're only six feet, so we've only been able to put one student there. And then we've noticed uh, as the weather's gotten nicer, we've got kind of more circles of kids sitting out in the grass area, um, doing a nice job um, and trying to do their best they can to just be, you know, kids living in a normal world yet still respecting that we're living in a pandemic. So many kudos to our kids, uh, staff members for holding the line. And I think uh, for next year, we got, we're gonna continue to hold that line. You know, you might go to grocery stores, you might see that they're giving people who've been vaccinated the option now. So there's a lot of mixed messages um, that all of us see um, and our students are gonna see. Why can we do that there? We can't do it here. You know, sporting events, that's a whole nother uh, conversation because we have indoor events, we have outdoor events. And I think, you know, what we said when we came to return our kids back to school this year was, you know, safety over convenience. And I think next fall, we'll just talk about holding the line. We're gonna continue doing the things we know we need to do that keeps our school at large safe. And, uh, you know, the evidence is pretty clear for us. Uh, Lori Grimm, one of our assistant principals, she's become our COVID site supervisor. She works with our school nurses, our health tech, and then also the district nurse, anytime we have any symptoms in the school or students have decided to stay home or staff members who decided to stay home and they let us know they're not feeling good, um, that calls for a contact tracing um, process. We have had almost, and we may have hit 200 by the time I made this video, almost 200 contact tracing uh, processes that have started and have ended already. And to this date, um, June 4th, we have had no evidence of COVID being contacted in our school that resulted in somebody getting COVID. Okay, so we're still sitting at zero. I'm very proud of that number. That doesn't mean that we don't have people that have had COVID, but they've caught it somewhere else according to the contact tracing processes. So, you know, I don't know 100% that is. It's the best process we have. And if we do have it here in the building, as far as someone contacting it, uh, we're gonna be very transparent about that because we're gonna need to take all the proper precautions and, and, and all the pieces that go with that. So I just wanna say we've done a good job. Pat your kids on the back. Um, tell your teachers if you have a chance to see them, your students' teachers, thank you. Um, you know, here it is, it's June 4th. Uh, we still got a little bit of a stretch to go, but we want to finish strong, you know, and if we end up with a case, we end up with a case. It's not going to be because we aren't holding the line and 
putting safety over convenience. So I just wanted to let you know where we're at. Um, also, if you're a parent of a senior who might have a couple low grades or even one low grade or just need to get one more project in, for the next two Saturdays, we're going to continue to run our graduation boot camp. We had 14 seniors here last Saturday. Had a fantastic uh, support group there in terms of teachers and paraeducators. We're going to do the same this Saturday, June 5th, tomorrow. Uh, students are to enter through the West Courtyard. It goes from 9 a.m. to noon. Students don't have to stay the whole time when they're done with whatever they need to do. They can walk on out. Um, it's all in the commons. And then on Saturday, June 12th, uh, a week from tomorrow, um, we'll be running it up in the library. And the students, seniors will enter through the main door of the school um, and go through the attendance office upstairs to the library. They're going to run a vaccination clinic here on that Saturday. That's why we're not going to be entering through the West Commons. So anyway, that's uh, that's the latest and greatest from Auburn High. we got a fun event tomorrow for our seniors. Um, we're calling it the pre-game to prom. We're not doing a prom this year, but we've got an opportunity for seniors and uh, their guests to show up in our West Courtyard, do some photo taking, some giveaways. We're also going to open up Memorial Stadium. Administrators will be over there. We'll be at the gate. So families, if you want to come in with your cameras, take pictures of your graduates, uh, if they want to wear their gowns or caps, uh, just another great opportunity. I'm not sure if the mountain will be out tomorrow, but a lot of our kids have spent a lot of time um, on Troy Field uh, at Memorial Stadium, and it might not be such a bad opportunity to have a keepsake. Uh, so just know what's going on tomorrow, and uh, hope to talk to you all real soon face-to-face. -face. Thank you.